I spoke with uh, Dr. Bazarian today. Now that you've been symptom free for a few days now, you are good to go. Everything except for full contact, diving, full goalkeeper stuff. If symptoms start to come back, okay, you gotta be honest. All right, no symptoms. About 70% or so of patients in my concussion clinic are are women, high school and college aged women. I don't remember actually the moment of impact, <laughs> but I remember um, going out for the ball and I remember going, uh, being on the, on, the, on the turf. And I remember hearing the crowd, but not being able to open my eyes because it hurt. The outcome after concussion for females tends to be prolonged compared to, to males and they tend to have more symptoms. What I want you to do is go from this wall to this wall, back and forth while you're keeping your eyes on your thumb. I was having headaches. I was. I, I really felt like I was in slow motion. Um, I was really foggy. I was very sensitive to lights. When males and females participate in similar sports, the incidence of concussions are actually higher for females. So they're kind of getting a double whammy. They're getting more of these, and it's taking longer for them to get better. And when we kind of looked at this a little deeper, we found it was not all women, but women during the childbearing years do worse than men of similar age. So. You know, women before they start having their period or after menopause do about the same as males do. And so we wanted to understand why that would be. But one of the obvious things that came to mind was something to do with either estrogen or progesterone. And what we call the premenstrual phase, which is the two weeks prior to a woman getting her period, that's typically when we see elevation in the hormone progesterone and a steady level of estrogen. Estrogen is present throughout the entire menstrual cycle, but progesterone is only present in those two weeks prior to a woman getting her menstrual cycle. So we thought, well, maybe it's got something to do with the phase of the menstrual cycle where they're getting concussed. Women at the point of their cycle where progesterone was high tended to do worse than women who got hit at the point of the cycle where progesterone was low. Not as rusty as I was. Progesterone has properties similar to Valium. So they're on a, on a really, really weak kind of calming effect on the brain. So if you take that away abruptly, people feel irritable. We speculate that our observations in this study mean that there's a kind of withdrawal from progesterone that happens because the pituitary has been shaken. If you're taking birth control pills, which have progesterone in them, even if your pituitary isn't working, you're still taking progesterone, so you don't notice a difference either. The findings of this study, which showed that women on the birth control pill have a more uh, similar result outcome-wise uh, to men, uh, gives a suggestion that perhaps that steady state of progesterone and estrogen that we obtain when we're taking the birth control pill may in some way be protection. This study is very preliminary, and it's hard to say that that will hold up in future studies, of course, but it is very encouraging. There still is no treatment for concussion or mild traumatic brain injury. But people are already looking towards progesterone as a possible treatment for concussion. But if the phase of the menstrual cycle has something to do with how a woman might respond to that drug, then we better understand that now before we start a clinical trial. Now that it's kind of happened to me, I kind of realize that it really is a serious thing. It's my senior year. It's probably my last season playing competitive soccer ever again. And it was really unfortunate that I had to miss five games, but it really kind of put it into perspective for me. Yes, here we go. Nurse. 